Hi guys, it's Mel here from Mel W Scrapping. Uh, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a layout for you guys today for um, a series called Hop Along with the Girls from the Lands Down Under. And that's a series that we have put together here in Australia. And we've got the New Zealand ladies um, playing along as well. Um, to show the differences in our winters and our summers and you know, different things within Australia that is different to everywhere else in the world, just to give everybody a, an idea of what happens in the area that we're in. So I'm actually down in Tasmania. I think Amanda's in Melbourne, which is just above us on the map. Um, there's Tracy and Linda in New Zealand. And I think... Kathy is in New South Wales, but she's actually away at the moment. Um, she's actually gone to the other part of the world, and she's in Alaska. Um, and um, Narelle is up in Queensland, I think, so she's got it really warm. I don't know if I've missed anyone else or not. Sorry if I have. I'll pop a map. I always pop a map at the start and the end of the video, so you guys know whereabouts in Australia and like Australia's here, New Zealand's over here and Tasmania's right at the bottom. We're a little island just underneath Australia but we're still classed as Australia. So what I'm going to do is I've got, um, I'm going to do it in conjunction with Scrapping, Refre blah, 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 blah. Scrapping Reflections, Follow a Sketch Friday, Post-it Editions. So Sandy will draw a little sketch um, on a post-it note and post it and we can all have a go at it. So this time I'll pop it up in the left, hopefully I remember. Um, it's circular. Uh, with the photos here and some embellishing here, but I'm actually going to put a screenshot, a photo of a screenshot. And this month we are focusing on winter and snow here in Australia. So I am going to do photos of this year of our worst frosts I have ever ever witnessed so this is the frost so this is my daughter's swing and seat and it's normally wood color not white this is actually a um, it's actually a weed coming up in the deck but as you can see along the deck boards there's frost just hanging off and then the, the weeds covered and then this was actually that day it was minus three at the time that I took those photos but the real fuel was actually minus 5.9 and I can tell you it felt that every bit that so to do my circular thing um, I'm actually gonna I've cut out I'm doing it on white I'm gonna go white border cut out a circle with my big creative memories um, I think I've put it away already and I've used the blue so that it wasn't as big a circle because I used the big circle um, and I'm just gonna I've just marked where that is and I saw a technique that I think I saw I don't know what this is gonna look like I'll probably look like water I'm not entirely sure um, it was a like a torn piece of paper and then different let's see how we go anyway I'm going to go like that. I'm going to go with a different colour then. Peacock feathers. And just layer the colours up with that bit of um, torn edge. See? Um, now I'm going to, where did I put that? I've lost so many things today, it's ridiculous. Um, sponge sugar, I don't know that this is going to work. I tried to do it on the brush. No. So where is the sponge? Pretty sure I mean that. I just had that in my hand. I need three of these. I got a sponge sugar, a sponge sugar oxide. I just wanted that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going 
going on with that? Yeah, that looks all right. Okay, so let's not do that and do just the pad straight on. I just want to colour in the circle part. Alright, I'll go up here like this. I just picked blues in that light pink because of that just reminds me of cold, being cold. So I do like the colour that that's coming out to tell you the truth over that um, peacock feathers. really use this to look like water you really could um peacock feathers we're done with uncharted mariner we're done with let's go this pink drop everything on the notice there's a bit of blue on there but that's all right we'll clean it off in a minute go. Let's just do a bit at the bottom. Make sure that the circle will be filled with colour. Right, okay. Piece of paper and clean it off. Beautiful. I'm pretty sure it was I clean my fingers but it was crystal I'm sure it was I saw her do this technique um, for um, we just done I'm sure she did it for technique oh, off the board with pineapple papers is what I'm trying to get out everyone right I'm going to go over the top with that I'll pop Crystal's um, YouTube channel down below. Go and check her out for Off the Board with Pineapple Papers. And it will be a Technique Tuesday that she did it on. If I can find the actual link to that video, I'll pop it in my description box. Because I thought, my goodness, I really want to try that. So she actually did it so that it was going, she ripped it so it was going like that. So diagonal down. And then sort of did it like that. So it looked more like, you know, the ocean type thing. Have I taken it all off? No. I just wanted my, my circle to be just not white. To have that bit of... I could actually splatter water in it and then let it do its thing. But I'm just going to... my marks well, my marks don't fit at all what did I go wrong for that I did the inside of the circle oh, oh that looks about it I was probably off a little Going off my head today. I've had so much to do this morning to get organised for the rest of this week. Let's clean my brush off. Um, yeah, it's nuts. Right, so I wanted to go like that. This was going to go up here, like so. And I had. These two tags at the top. 
so called tags. I'm going to go these two tags at the bottom, coming out slightly. Might even go like that. And I had this going across here like that, so I kind of need to move up a bit. that one down first before I move anything I've got some winter I haven't got much winter things left or many get my English right many English uh, many winter things left I in a collection I don't have much of a collection at all um, and so what I've got left I'm gonna try and use so this is all out of the collection it's all just little scraps and uh, a couple of little, uh, what do you call it, titles. I'm going to pop that like that, that way. I'm going to do this. And I put a sticker on that that said freezing season. Oh, upside down. <laughs> Oh, I'm really good today, aren't I? I'm oh, completely white there. Should have done those in a pink. Actually, now that I remember, that can go down in that, down in the circle. Like so, if it would stay. And then this is meant to be a sticker, so meant to be is the optimate word. Maybe it's not. Oh, there we go. Just got that bit off. I was putting double sided tape on them, thinking these chipboard pieces were actually just chipboard, and they were stickers. So I found out when I started sticking some on. I'm going to pop this on foam. There's going to be lots of little titles on this. So this is the coldest year I have ever witnessed. I think since I was really little. And I think that's when, I think I said before, my husband said he could remember sliding down the hills at school in his school shoes with the frost that thick. Uh, and now I'm going to pop this up on foam. No, I'm not. I'm going to stick that down and be a good person because I've already got tape on it. I'm going to go like that. Yeah, I'm going to go like that. And I'm going to put, I think I was going to go this, let me see if it actually looks alright. No, it blends in. Is there a pink? Yes, there is pink. W's. LD. Right. Can get this straight. Let's go. Where's my tool? So, for the last few years, I've had maybe one or two photos of a really bad frost that we've had. Uh, since 2019 was when we actually got a snow event here. Um, we've never had snow here in our lives. Um, and my mum said for as long as she's been alive, she's never not known it to snow in in a um, land. Unless you're up on a mountain. Um, I'll say arm um again. I should not say arm. Um. 
2019. So we've only really had really mild frosts. We've never had it this cold. And this year, I have a hole. I actually got them. I put them into a thing. That is all, except for those few at the back, that's all to do with frost. I've never had that many photos to do with frosts. Um, until that, that 2019 when we had snow midnight. Darren come and woke us all up. Didn't stay for very long the next day, but how cold is what I wanted. Right, that's our lettering. And I don't think I've got, I'm just going to see what I've got here in scrap of sketch embellishments. That's water. I haven't got them all put together though. They may even be in that box. I have to fussy cut a heap for scrap of sketch and I know I have some here somewhere. There's some I have to cut. Positive vibes only. I wish I had positive vibes. Can't exactly put a love heart on there because I really didn't love this day. Nope, 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 nope. I'll make some little. Actually, I'm going to fussy cut this one out. I'm going to show you how very unprofessional fussy cutting I am. Um, because we actually have three little pigeons in our yard who have decided to call us home. And they are the cutest little things. They will even come out and sit out on the grass to sun themselves when I'm out popping the washing on the line. And they have not gone anywhere all winter or summer, and summer was stinking hot. So, as you can see, I'm not great at fussy cutting. But I was once told that if you leave just a little bit of white around everything, whether you're a very good fussy cutter or not, it makes it look okay. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's get this little pigeon on there. Alright, now I'm just going to go. Like that. There it is. Maybe pigeon can go up on some foam. Things I can't find the ones I've already fussy cut already. You know, you lose them as you do. I've got quite a bit of fussy cutting to do actually. Now, I am one of those people who does not mind if something's looking off the, the page. There is no wrong way in. Oh, and look at this little penguin. I don't normally fussy cut on camera, but for a, you know, a little easy one, 
I just wanted two more embellishments. See, that's not brilliant cutting. But, I really don't mind. It'll look good when it's... And I can't say we have any penguins here. Darn. Apart from teddy bear penguins. Does that count? Teddy bear penguins. Whoopsies. As you can tell, my holding the paper is not brilliant. Right. And that one can go up onto the foam. As well. So these still from Scrap Sketch. So they're printables, digital printables. And I just get them. I'm going to stick him there on the top of the two tags. Okay, so the rest I have to put in that thing and the fussy cart. We'll do that this afternoon. I'll get some then done this afternoon. Okay, now. Alright, out of my way. I want my little dimenties. Now, I haven't put holes in here because I didn't want ribbon and twine. Okay? So I'm just going to pop a little dimenti, like so, keeping in with that bit of pink that I want. I wanted, and there we go. And what we might do then is just finish off some areas with a little cluster of dimentis. Let's go up here with some bigger ones. Like so. And we'll just do a little group of little ones over here. And I'm happy with that. So I've done a technique that I like and I will try again. And I will actually keep this as a template. Like I do some of my circles. My <coughs> excuse me. I will cut another one that will be ripped like that. So that it looks... And we'll see how we go with that. So, everyone, here we go. I'll make sure that's in screenshot. Oh, it is. Look at that. Did it perfect. Amazing stories. This is my layout for today's um, Hopping Along with the Girls from the Lands Down Under, as well as my take on Sandy's Scrapping Reflections um, Follower Sketch Post It Edition. Um, and I'll pop grabbing reflections down below as well <coughs> and Sandy actually also has a um, website that you can actually get different order different things through her and she does um, big 12 by 12 stencils they are brilliant absolutely brilliant um, now also um, here I am saying um again I don't know why I'm doing that if you like my layout, if you could give me a thumbs up, that would be really appreciated. Thank you. At the same time, if you do like what I've done and you want to have a go with it, of it, press pause, take a screenshot and have a go. As you saw, I'm not used to this oxide pink and I really didn't know how I'm going to pop that on, but I'm going to have to pop it on to get the actual colour to come out properly just from the ink pad. Now, when I am finished, down below in the description box, I have no idea what I'm saying today, everyone. I really don't. I've got that many things that I've got to do today. Um, I will pop the playlist for Hopping Along with the Girls from Lands Down Under. I will pop a list of all the girls and their YouTube channels as well. I will also pop Sandy's YouTube channel and Crystal's, let me write Crystal's down for that technique, if I can find it, technique, um, as well as the Facebook group for Scrapping Reflections and I will try and add Sandy's website as well for you to go and check out. This is my take on her sketch and I love it. I think it looks just cute for a cold winter layout I actually 
you know what, it's not very often I say I like something. Sometimes I will say, yeah, I really like that. And I'll probably get off the video and say, oh, I really don't like that. I like this. I really like this. I love that technique. I like how I've actually done something different with the photos and with the embellishing. And I don't think I've actually ever cut a circle and then put that paper onto something else that's like a full sheet underneath. That was a bit of a first for me. Check everybody else out down below in the description box. Give them a like. Subscribe to them if you're not already. And by all means, give them a comment, something you like about their layout. Um, always remember, it does not cost to subscribe, like, or comment to anyone on YouTube. And I hope if you're new to my channel, I've done enough for you to consider subscribing. I was very tempted just to splatter water on there and take the, the drops off, but I'm going to leave it like that and then try that one later on. Thank you everyone for watching. I appreciate you all for being here. Stay safe. Stay warm, stay cool, and happy scrapping. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.